All right, with the camera pointed at the monitor, I have it hooked up via HDMI. It's a 1080p monitor. I'll go ahead and press the button in order to turn on the Oya. It does take a little while after pressing the button for it to come on. As you can see, it is now on. So this is the boot up process. And this is the front screen after you have set up the device and also set up your network connection. Um, I will say that the network connection it seems to require you to use the standard Android settings pages to set it up. Um, I didn't find that worked very well. Um, it didn't show me my MAC address so I had to open up uh, the network. I usually use a Mac filter uh, whitelist. Um, I wasn't able to use that uh, with this when setting it up, but after I set it up I was able to find the Mac address and and complete the setup the way I'd want it to to be. Um, basically after you turn off your on your console um, you also turn on the controller. I'm fairly sure that controller may boot up the uh, console also. We'll go ahead and go through this. Right now it asks if we want the latest info on the OEA developer kit. Don't really care about that right now so we'll skip it. It will say that we do not have any games yet. Um, they do provide a sample game that you can play on the OEA. Um, I'll go ahead and well I may not. I will not show you that one. I'll show you a game that I did that seems to run on the Oya, um, and I'll tell you how I did load it up. You press the A button to go to the menu, and this is the main menu for the developer version. I imagine the final one will be white, but this development version um, it has a red background, has a gradient from left to right. On the top right, it says developer preview not ready for gamers. So no gamers, just developers right now. Um, what you can pick from is games, apps, store, devs, and settings. Games is obviously that one, uh, the screen you first go to says we do not have games. Apps, we do not have apps. Store, the store is not yet available. Come back later devs. Devs have se several options. I doubt this will be in the uh, consumer version. Um, there's builds. Um, I haven't really looked at this. I could put in my user name and password and check it out later. Uh, I'll let you know exactly what it does. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and cancel out of that. Uh, you do have software, which seems to show software that has been manually installed that really isn't an OEA game or app, but is really just an Android application. I do have my game on there, which is called Deadly Dungeons. It's available for Android. Um, there's also an internet browser, downloads, and settings. We'll go to the browser right now. And I will say that using the browser it does require the touchpad. So you have to use the touchpad to move the mouse cursor around. If you don't use that you can't get up to the uh, search bar. And we'll go ahead and go to YouTube and check out a video there. And you'll be able to see the kind of performance you get from videos played through YouTube. I found that it's pretty good actually. Um, I have no issues with the performance of the video playing on the device. So we'll go to YouTube. Um, looks like there's just some default videos on there. Um, I guess we'll do one of these cartoons.
and the video has started as you can see the performance is pretty good looks like a flash animation video so it really gives you a good idea of how smooth the video is uh, looks like there's some buffering maybe my internet connection um, let's see if it gets through it yeah Now let's. I'm, that video was in high quality. I'm guessing that my Wi-Fi connection isn't doing very good. We'll go ahead and check out another video. As you can see, the video performance is pretty good. Um, certainly pretty good for watching YouTube videos. All right. Um, we'll go ahead and get out of the browser browser does seem to work fairly well hopefully that's in the uh, standard version of the OEA not just the uh, the developer version um, I did have to install my game via the browser if you upload an AP APK to some web space you can access it through a URL and it will download and install on your OEA that's how I was able to get Deadly Dungeons installed on this. Oh yeah. Um, there's obvi obviously news. News just takes you to developer notes. Um, there's an intro video also, which kind of gives you an intro video, intro to the Oya. Oh yeah. I'm sure that's on YouTube somewhere, so I'll let you find that and look at it. Um, you can obviously. There's settings, you can manage your account, look at your user details, change your password through here. System settings, it does have your device info, um, so MAC addresses, um, you can look at your Wi-Fi settings, see what networks are on there. Uh, there's Bluetooth settings, so it shows one game connect controller connected. Um, system updates is where you can get uh, updates to the OS. Um, I did update earlier. It did take a while. It took about 10 to 15 minutes to update um, to download and install the updates. And that's pretty much everything that you get with the development version. Um, obviously the uh, consumer version that will that they will release later will have a lot more things to it. You'll probably have some apps and um, games on there. Um, I know I will have my game Deadly Dungeons on there at release. Um, I'll go ahead and show you how it plays since it works on the system. My game is uh, just for portrait mode so it's not going to be full screen but it will show you that games do work on the Oya. I have to kind of I have to use this touchpad to uh, to select everything. Um, touch doesn't really work so well on the device. It's um, pretty much just adequate. I'll just call this test. And we'll pick some stats. Kind of want plenty of endurance <laughs> and strength. And we'll choose casual because it's a little bit hard to play my game on the audio currently. I'll have to uh, improve some aspects of the gameplay on the OEA. 
uh, mainly controls and also make it uh, landscape instead of portrait this is the intro of the game um, I'll go ahead and show you a transition this is an OpenGL so it will give you a pretty good idea of the performance of the OEA as you can see the transition is pretty smooth this is the gameplay itself um, I found that the arrow keys do work on the OEA so I can move around with arrow keys since my game supports that um, unfortunately I don't have uh, attack bound to any uh, keys so I have to uh, touch them on this screen um, pick up some items some gold and we'll go over to Zebo here as you can see the animations is quite smooth um, my shop does not really work on the Oya right now mainly because it requires uh, touch and grab uh, drag mechanics and that is not supported with the touchpad on the uh, Oya controller um, so we'll go ahead and kill some creatures here um, as you can see everything's fairly smooth oh no that guy's strong go ahead and get out of here if I can up oh. uh, <laughs> run away okay so we'll kill these guys. Uh, I got blinded again, which is not good. Go ahead and sit over here. Uh, increases physical resistance. I'll take that. And I got knocked by that one creature again. Two of them, actually. That's not good. Um, and there's spikes over there. <laughs> oh my god, I got hit. I ran into the spikes. I tried to dodge one and I hit another one. Okay, we're gonna try to get away from those guys for a while because they're kind of tough. And I need to level up before I really face them. But as you can see, the uh, animations are very smooth. Uh, performance on the OEA is excellent. Um, it is pretty much as good as any. Tiger, th Tiger 3 device that you may have used. Um, this should definitely be a pretty good game console to uh, create some uh, decent indie games. And that's not good. Poison. I'm probably going to die. No. Uh -uh. Thank you, a good weapon. Go ahead and equip that. It's a bit hard to use this, so ah, uh, get out of the way. <laughs> Monsters are closing in on me. What was that? Oh, one of these guys. These guys are look pretty easy. Ah, and then I die to it. Now, luckily, I'm on casual mode, which allows you to just get back up after you get hit. It's a good way to learn the game and figure out how to play it before you know you try to more difficult setting. Yeah, basically the game works. Uh, unfortunately, um, there's there's nothing really on the controller itself that will bring up an Android menu. So you're definitely going to have to bind any kind of menu system to a key. Um, there also doesn't seem to be much of a start and select key. So I think that is kind of an oversight. Um, it probably would have been good to have a menu key 
um, just so that menu a menu could be brought up within a game um, I'm not exactly sure how it should be done now um, let's go ahead and just go up to the next level where it's safer but basically yeah pressing all these keys none of them bring up an Android menu um, certainly not pressing anything down I mean I guess if you want to do a menu it might be good to do it on one of these analog buttons press it down bring up the menu uh, though it would have been better had there been a start button um, I suppose if you're not going to rely on the touchpad um, since this is handled with mouse clicks um, I'm sure that would also work um, to bring up a menu just press here but yeah that's pretty much the limitations I see but without a menu key I can't exit out of this game and there is no back button either um, so anybody who's developing uh, Android games um, you'll have to find it you'll have to implement another way to uh, exit from the game you know obviously you could also just you know press here for a menu bring up a, a menu you can select you know to save your game and everything like that um, if you don't need to use all the buttons but uh, that's pretty much everything with the OEA developer version. Um, I'll definitely keep develop developing my Deadly Dungeons game and I should be able to show you uh, what it looks like when it's rendered full screen, um, show you what it's like to play it when you have input with the controller. Um, it, it should actually work fairly well, but uh, that's about it. So that's the OEA.